Well, hey folks, it's John with Ozarks Back Roads with you. We're inside the World Headquarters studios today. I haven't been able to get outside and do any rides this week. The weather has not been cooperating very well. It's acting a whole lot like spring here in the Ozarks. But I have been able to catch up on a few jobs here in the garage, a couple of things that needed to be done to the bike. So one of the things I got done this week was with the Ibex. If you've watched uh, my previous videos, you know I had trouble with the front uh, wheel not holding air. I wound up uh, putting a tube in the front wheel and uh, took care of the problem. Of course, I don't have my tire pressure monitoring on the front wheel anymore. So you find these Acrant wheels that are on this Ibex on the KTMs as well, the uh, 790 and 890 uh, Adventure. Uh, KTM bikes uh, have these Acrant wheels. So on other European uh, bikes, I've seen these wheels as well. And uh, CF Moto, since KTM and CF Moto are uh, hooked up and CF Moto is building the 790, uh, KTM for KTM, uh, they've went with these wheels on this bike. So these wheels are known to leak. They're, they have spokes and they're tubeless. And each spoke has a... Uh, a seal on the top of the spoke, an O-ring or a neoprene seal. So there's 36 spokes with 36 seals on the spokes uh, in the rim. And then there's also a seal for the tire pressure monitor, the sensor. So that's 37 seals. Any one of them leaks and your, t your wheel won't hold air anymore. And uh, the front wheel leaked uh, and I put a tube in that. I know a lot of the KTM guys I've seen online and in forums uh, complaining about this. Some of them have uh, used conversion kits. There are conversion kits that you can get to convert a, a spoked rim to tubeless. It's basically a wide gummy uh, thick strip that you put in there to seal up uh, over the over the ends of the spokes inside the rim. So what I've been able to see online, people that have done these conversions uh, kits and, and converted their spoke rims to uh, tubeless, they might work for a while, but they usually end up leaking. And uh, then you got a big mess to deal with to get all that gummy uh, strip out of your out of your rim. And uh, most people end up going on to putting a tube in their uh, tire anyhow so i'm skipping all of that and going straight to the tubes so stick around we'll uh, put a tube in this rear tire i'll show you what needs to be done to convert these acrant wheels over to tubes Well, this is our TPS, our tire pressure monitoring sensor right here in our wheel. We're going to go ahead and remove this. We're not going to need it anymore. This is where our valve stem of our tubes going to go through here. Take that screw out of it. And then this will come off. Then we'll push the stem out. There's where our valve stem is going to go through. 
Oh, where our sensor was right here, we've got the, uh, the hole where our valve stem is going to go through, but it's kind of machined down in there. It's recessed. And this edge right here around the outside is kind of sharp. And our, our tube is going to be sitting up here and the stem is going to be going down. And it's going to be pushed up against this. I don't want this to cut into my tube around my valve stem right here. And it probably would over time. So I'm going to take a little uh, die grinder <coughs> right here. And I'm just going to go around this edge and uh, smooth, uh, kind of round this edge over and make it where it's not sharp anymore. <coughs> It don't have to be pretty, it's just got to be smooth. I've rounded that off and it's nice and smooth now. There's no sharp edge to catch anything there. So I think we're in pretty good shape on that. We can go ahead now and put our uh, rim strips on, on it. We're going to put rim strips on, in here, cover up the ends of these uh, spokes on this wheel. Each one of these spokes right here has a seal underneath it, underneath the end of it here to seal the, uh, supposedly to seal the, the spoke up so it won't leak air around it. So we got 36 spokes here with 36 seals. And then we've also got a seal here for our TPS sending unit where it was. And uh, any one of those that leaks, we, we, uh, we lose air in our tire, so uh, I don't see how this system could possibly be reliable at all. I just don't see that. To uh, prepare this wheel, to, I'm going to be gluing these uh, rim strips in place with weather, uh, weather strip adhesive, 3M weather strip adhesive. I want to get all the, the oils and I want to get this really clean, get all the oils off of it. So I'm, gonna, I'm just using uh, regular old uh, rubbing alcohol right here and a rag soaked down. We're just going to clean this off where we're going to be gluing these rim strips down in this part of the, of the wheel here. I'm wiping my rim strips down with, uh, with alcohol so the glue will stick real good. Make sure they're clean. There's no powder on them or anything. So I've got four... I ordered four rim strips. We're going to be putting four of these on this on this wheel. Just a, a 17, 17 inch uh, rim strips. I think they're probably about an inch wide. So we'll put our first one on. Uh, it's going to go right down the center of the wheel. Our place in the strip where the hole's at, over the hole where the valve stem is going to run out of the wheel here. We'll lay this strip in place. And I want to run this one right down the center of the wheel. It's not going to exactly cover the ends of the spokes. These spokes have got a quite a bit of offset where they're, they come into the wheel here. But I'm going to center it up as best as I can. And get my hole lined up here. Make sure that uh, it's lined up with the hole in the wheel. All right, so I've got it more or less down the center of the wheel here. This is just 3M weather strip adhesive you buy at the parts store. It's black, you can get it in yellow, it doesn't really matter. But I'm going to take this and just go underneath my rim strip and go around the wheel and put some of this down under it. These have to be held in place. They're not going to stay in place on their own. So we're going to glue them down. And once this glue sets, um, they're not going to move. This is really impressive. If you've never used this, it is very impressive adhesive. I used to use this in the body shop a lot. When I worked in a body shop, I did that for quite a few years. Uh, rebuilding car, crashed cars and that sort of thing. This is stuff is invaluable. 
So my next set of rim strips, I'm going to run the edge of it right down the center of this strip that I just put in. So it's going to come over and uh, cover the edge of this uh, first rim strip. I'm going to run it right down the center of that and it'll get over here and cover this edge real good out over the ends of these spokes. Right here for where the valve stem goes through, I'm just going to cut a little notch out in this uh, in this to allow my spoke to run through. Something like that. So when I lay it on here on the center, it'll look like that. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one on. And we're going to run it halfway, right down the center of the first strip, the edge of this. And that'll give us good coverage out over these spokes on this side that are hanging out over on this side of the center of the wheel. Now I'm going to go ahead with my 3M weather strip adhesive again and uh, put it under here. So now I'm going to go around here and press that in place real good. All the way around. Make sure it's where I want it. So here in a few minutes there won't be no moving it. So now I've got my second, my second one kind of down the center or the edge of it down the center of the first one here. Okay, so I've got that where I want it. Now I'm going to do the same thing with my third went rim strip. I'm going to cut a, uh, a little half moon in it, cut out a place for the valve stem. And there's the valve stem hole there. So I'll put this one on. We're going to run it down the other side of this, down the center of the first one like we did the second one. We're going to butt it up to that and it'll cover this side over here in the same fashion like that. So now, now these two are butted together and they're running right down the center of the first strip that I, that's underneath there that we put in first. So now I'll go ahead and take my weather strip adhesive and uh, I'll glue this second one, run some glue under where this second one or this uh, third strip we just put in. We're going to glue it down now. Well we've got uh, three of our rim strips in now. I got one right down the center, the first one, and then one on either side with the edges running down the center of the first strip. So they're offset to either side, covering up the spokes totally. So let's get our fourth rim strip in place here. We're going to run it right down the center, cover up this parting line between the second and third. And we're going to have really good coverage here. Get a little 3M love in here. Try not to get too much where it squirts out and makes a mess. But I want enough to hold it. That's a pretty good job, I think. We've got those uh, spokes are covered. We're not going to have trouble with that. All right. Well, it's time to mount our tire back up. See if we can get the tube in it. See what kind of job that's going to be. Put a little baby powder in my wheel or in my tire here. And a little bit of that. Let's make sure we're going the right way here. That looks right. There we go. Well, that's pretty simple. Getting the 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 uh valve stem through the hole is always going to be tricky. I'm leaving one nut on the uh, stem here to take up that machine space where they had that machined out. I'm going to leave a nut to kind of hold the stem up so it doesn't pull down in that hole. One nut should be plenty. I finally weaseled the tube in. I got the nut started on it. I'm not going to pull it in tight. 
just kind of let it sit there for now. Uh, I went around the, lifted the tire and went all the way around the rim, pushing the tube down into the drop center. And that's pretty important. That keeps the tube down away from this, uh, this bead that we're going to be working on up here. We don't want the tube up in the tire here. We want it pushed down as far as we can get it away from where we're working. So I've done that. So let's see if we can get this on. On this rim. Alright. I like to get my knees up on the up on the uh, up on the tire there and push it down with my weight and get that bead down into the drop center so it'll go on for me. Not give me a bunch of grief. It's on there. Sprayed a little lube on these uh, on these lugs that have to slide down in in between here. Try to get this to go together. It didn't want to go together for me. Why yes. No problem. We'll mount this back up on the bike. And uh, hopefully we will never have a, a flat. Well, I guarantee you we won't have a flat because the wheel won't hold air. Well, folks, I know this is not the most exciting video you've ever watched, but if you happen to have a KTM uh, Adventure or some of the other European bikes that use these Acrant wheels or a CF Moto that uses these Acrant wheels and you get a leaky wheel, well, this is a method you can use to, uh, to resolve that issue. It might come in handy. So I appreciate you all hanging out with me on a rainy day here in the Ozarks. I invite you to come back and see me. We'll jump on something, go somewhere. Until I catch up with you again, y'all take care of yourselves. We'll catch you next time.